Welcome to the free... Food is as close to home cooking. Can I take it your neighbor's new recruit? And rest assured, if I ever need to remember it, I will. SY920 is one of my regular stops, so I already have the necessary approvals. Neva says you're after a piece of UC tech. So to get it, we're going to need to get you on board. I can do that, but I have conditions. Eva warned me you were difficult. Clearly, I didn't understand what she meant, but I do now. If I can be candid, for this job to work, we'll have to do this my way. We take my ship, and you're a member of my crew. But make no mistake, once you board, the risk is entirely yours. This route is highly lucrative, and sacrificing it is not an option. Look, I know I don't have a lot of history with the fleet. But I'm putting my reputation and ship on the line for this. That alone should tell you enough. It's not personal. If you're caught, that entire installation will be on you. There's nothing I can do for you at that point. Except send flowers to your next of kin. Good. Then we have a deal. In any case, when you're ready, meet me at my ship. It's the Jade Swan. And make sure you're prepared for the long haul. Once you're on board SY920, you can't come and go as you please. I'd like to, but I need to keep a low profile. In my experience, the more people know about you, the more they have over you. We'll talk more on the ship.
Nobody can stop the Crimson Fleet. Always looking for the next mark. things to know. When we get to the checkpoint, UC military will be hailing us. Let me do the talking. Return your piece of cargo if you have to. Then try biting your tongue. Literally. We can't afford any scrubs. Now, like I said before, once we take off, there's no turning back until this job is done. If you need to take care of anything before we leave, do it. If you want to ask me any other questions, Go for it. Yes. All right, then get comfortable. We leave for SY920 immediately. All crew prepare for takeoff. Routing power to engine crab drive. All systems go. SY920 from here. Don't worry about your personal ship, the fleet will make sure it's secure. You can take this time to prepare, just try not to bother my pilot while they're flying. Don't worry, Captain. I've spent half my life walking and chewing gum at the same time. I can handle a little banter. Sounds like you're putting in a request for double duty. Captain, I retract my earlier statement. For the Next record, I don't even like gum. <laughs> Noted. Entire. Just get us there safe. Roger that. I was a UC pilot before getting discharged. They say dishonorably, but that's the name. I'm the pilot of the James. You've entered secure UC military space. Identify yourself or you will be considered hostile. This is Captain Juan. Captain Dai, you can fly the ship herself. Way better than I can. Requesting permission to dock. Identity confirmed. As long as Prepare the credits keep scanning. rolling in, life's good. You're clear to dock at docking bay two. Looks like we're clear. We'll talk more once we're docked. Okay, we're in. First things first. The station is enormous, with checkpoints everywhere. To get past them, you'll need a military uniform. And to get a uniform, you'll need to get to the barracks. There should be a way through the vents. You can get to them via the maintenance door downstairs. There's an intercom there as well, where we can make contact. Once you get a uniform, it should be fairly easy to find an elevator to the command bay. But, if at any point your cover's blown, I'm gone. I would hope not. But if they do, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Either way, for now, get on that station and find that intercom. We'll talk more then. Swan, loading and unloading only. Stay clear of the military barracks. Do your job, keep your head down, and we won't have trouble. Hold up. 
This area is for SY920 military only. Rules are rules. Can't let you in unless you're military. It doesn't matter. I don't care if you take one step past this line and turn around. You'd still be breaking protocol. Ugh, nobody told me. Figures, the way the chain of command's been shuffled so much. I haven't received that order. And I take it you don't have a card or a clearance code. Sorry, no uniform, no entry. SY920 military. Yeah, you do that. Commander Natara was brought on to investigate the old commander. Two weeks later, she's in charge. seen Elijah? Probably downstairs searching for his maintenance key. I feel sorry for the guy. He'd lose his own thumb if it weren't attached to the knuckle. I mean, honestly, I'm sure, sure it is. Man, it was. Now, where did I put that darn thing? Well, this is embarrassing. I, I seem to have lost my key to the maintenance room again. Eh, because this ain't the first time I lost my card, I'm worried about the impression that it'll make on my superiors. You know what they say, first time's an accident, second is a coincidence, third time, you're being reassigned to some sub-zero planet to mine glaciers for the Admiral's ice cubes. I've covered pretty much every inch of this place, except for the forklift. But that one guard, the, the one I owe credits to, is parked right there, so I'd rather not go there. I was the kid who ate too much heel paste, but look at me now. A Marine on a UC Star Station. Something I can help you with? Elisha? Probably lost the hair on the back of his head. I'll go see what it's about.
remember the technology in this station made the FCC. State your business. Logging and sin level clearance. Go on ahead.
Your clearance code, Marine. All right, Ensign, let's hear it. You're clear, Ensign Zaremi. If you aren't assigned to this level, Ensign, you need to leave. Clear to launch. Change the subject, but are we concerned about potential leaks? No. Until you can provide more substantial.
right ear here. Goggles almost unloaded. We'll be departing shortly. Sorry, but the situation calls for it. That being said, I can stay in orbit for a short while. I'll need to send word to Delgado anyway, if you don't get off that station. But it looks like you'll need to find your own way off the ship. That doesn't mean you're trapped. On a station this big, there are bound to be other vessels you can steal. As a member of the Crimson Fleet, I trust you can handle that. You do that, and you won't be just burning this bridge. You'll be ejecting it straight into a supernova. Good luck. If you make it out alive, next time you're at the Nova, I'll buy you a drink. Accepting transponder data in the Hoffa system might be promising. Wait, who are you? Why are you in here? Did you not see the sign? The sign outside that says no visitors. Wait, did they not put that up? I requested it ages ago, but not surprising. Ever since Commander Natara took over, the priorities have changed. Oh yes, I've been studying decryption of all types for quite a long time. Probably since before you took your first crab jump. Signal protocol, quantum ratchet symmetry, interleaving data extrapolation. You name it, I've lectured on it. I've probably forgotten half of it, but I definitely knew it once. Don't you mean access to the ship? Because the comm spike isn't a device, it's a module. It's attached to a prototype in one of our docking ports. We're still in the testing phase, running decryptions across a variety of signal types. But the results so far have been very promising. It can even interpolate signal data lost in the retrieval. It really is a wondrous technology. I was speaking English. Maybe you weren't paying attention. I'll repeat myself. The comm spike is a decryption module. And yes, there are certain kinks to be worked out, missing parts, and the occasional traumatic injury here and there, but it's all part of the adventure. Oh, it's ready. We're long past the inference stage. Statistical models can only go so far. And now that we've corrected the prior mishaps, it's time for real flesh and blood pilots to stress test the systems. The kind on afraid to make the necessary sacrifices. In short, I've requested a full squadron of these brave and fearless marines to be transferred to the station. They'll give the prototype a final run, and provided there are minimal casualties, we can present our findings to Mast. That was fast. I thought I put in the request this morning. Normally my requests aren't given this much attention, let alone haste. It seems a tad suspicious.
I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with that phrase. I've never even seen a horse, but from what I've read, they would make for very poor pilots. Commander Natara, you say? Oh, well, we don't want to make her angry. She's terrifying. I see. It would have been nice if they kept me in the loop. I am the project lead, after all. All right, you've convinced me. You're the new task pilot. You'll need a uniform and a terminal password to authorize a flight and get past Natara's cumbersome checkpoints. The uniform you can get in the locker room area, the password you get from me. You'll find the prototype ship at Docking Bay 8. Use the password to access the flight terminals in the control center. And of course, best of luck. You are doing science a great service by undertaking this sacrifice. of soldiers smuggling personal items into the station. You see Marines are way too disciplined. security on the station. You'll find the prototype ship at Docking Bay 8. Use the password to access the flight terminals. Nothing to report. The Marines on this station are some of the best in the galaxy. Prototype ship, you are not cleared for takeoff. What's going on over there? Unauthorized launch from engineering. All ships, 
Secure the prototype. Well, well, well. Welcome back, Rook. Looks like you got a new toy for me. Go on in and give everyone the lowdown. We'll take care of things from here. That's a real that's a real nice ship you brought in. I can't wait to tinker with it. Been hearing some stuff about the mantis being back. If I ever find that bastard, the things I do to them. I don't trust shielding. I got secret compartments on my ship just in case. Some people drink coffee to wake up. Nice to know Neva was right about you. It's good to have a promising rookie with the fleet. Surprise? Neva talks tough, and frankly, she is tough. But she's not a machine. Now you're starting to sound like a real pirate. Anyway, I believe I owe you a drink. It's the last time I'm paying, of course. Because if Dalgado's right about Crix's legacy, you've earned more than your fair share already with that comm spike. You read my mind. I don't like the thought of putting my routes in jeopardy over an old story. But I respect Delgado, and I believe he's on to something. What that is, though, remains to be seen. Anyway, I've kept you long enough. Now that you've had your drink, and my debt is paid, it's time for you to give Delgado the good news. Jasmine tells me that you not only brought us the comm spike, but an entire prototype UC ship. I'm impressed, Rook. Very impressed.
Don't worry your pretty little head about your damn ship. We had it brought back here safe and sound. Now pay attention. Dale went out of his way to tell you how impressed he was. You just gonna leave him hanging like that? Yeah, yeah, nice try, Rook. We know you didn't have a choice. Juan gave us the full rundown of your little smash and grab operation. She gave you some really high praise. Said you were a pro. And from what I hear, receiving praise from Juan Dayu is quite an accomplishment. All in all, my job well done. Now, on to the business at hand. Jasmine, are you there? Yep, I'm here, boss. What's up? How's it going? I already have two of my crew tearing the ship apart from one end to the other. Comm spike shouldn't be too tough to extract. I'm looking forward to seeing what those UC techs have been up to. Keep me posted. All right. That leaves our electromagnetic atmosphere problem. And I think we've discovered a solution. There's a corporation in the city of Neon called Jenardyne. They're responsible for the massive conduction grid that powers the city. We get our hands on their electrical absorption tech, and Jasmine swears she can tame it to handle Bannock 4. It's all we got. Now you are part of this job, so deal with it. Besides, I've learned never to question Jasmine's talent. It's the giant shroud that covers the entire city. Big, ugly thing that Jenardyne uses to absorb lightning strikes. When you arrive in Neon, I'm sure your contact will fill you in with all the boring details. you damn right she can. My girl can piece together a jump engine with her eyes shut. Literally, I've seen her do it. Lost good money on that bet. All right, let's not get carried away, Mabel. Now, why don't you give us the info on our Neon contact? You get to meet up with the lovely Estelle Vincent. She's had her deft little fingers on the pulse of Neon for some time now. Whatever info you need, I guarantee she can get. Estelle is one of the most reliable captains we have in the fleet. If I want something done, there's none of the typical bullshit. It gets done, and afterward, we all split the cash. You'll find I rarely imply things. In fact, I take pleasure in declaring my words straight to your goddamn face. Here is an example. I want you to do everything Estelle asks. Follow her instructions to the letter. She is valuable to the fleet. You piss her off and we lose her as a contact, you're going to be answering to me. Estelle will be waiting at Madame Savage's place. I'd say don't keep her waiting, but chances are she won't mind. Girl loves her liquor. And keep your eyes on the price. Neon's one big distraction for people like us, so I want you focused. We are one step away from Quix's legacy, and we cannot afford any screw-ups. Thank <laughs> you.